If you talk to any Skies of Arcadia fan, you'll likely hear from them at least one of these three wishes. I wish the game had a remaster for modern consoles. Skies of Arcadia really deserves a remake. I can't believe they've never made another Skies of Arcadia, it really should be a series. As for me, I can see great points for all three. So I shall be discussing all three in this video, talking about what each potential extension of Skies of Arcadia could offer to make for a great experience. This video will contain spoilers for Skies of Arcadia, but it will only be in the final section on a potential sequel, so I'll give you a timecode to skip that section if you want to watch the rest of the video. For those who need a quick reminder as to what Skies of Arcadia is, Skies of Arcadia is a turn-based combat JRPG where you control a few sky pirates trying to thwart the efforts of the big bad evil empire. The game was developed by Overworks and published by Sega originally for the Dreamcast and later for the GameCube with some new quests added. Since the GameCube version released in 2002 in Japan and 2003 in the West, there have been rumors of returns to the game as recently as last year, but nothing as of yet has panned out. The PS2 and Windows ports never materialized, and Sega's promises to keep bringing older games to PC seem to have ended after bringing over Jet Set Radio. Despite this, I know I, among many others, still hope that someday Sega will return to this classic game and give it the remake, remaster, or sequel it deserves. Now, I usually cover what I would expect or hope for from a future game associated with another game I have played, since it's hard to expect anything after nearly 18 years of statements that have never panned out, I will just be focusing on my hopes for what a remaster, remake, or sequel would bring to the table. I'll start with the remaster, because honestly, several of the things that I mentioned for a remaster would be applicable to a remake or sequel as well, so I think it's best to build things up as we go along. For a remaster, obviously using the power of presumably the PC and possibly modern consoles as well, I would hope for better resolution and the game no longer being locked to 30 FPS. Since we're talking about a remaster and not a remake, the visuals obviously wouldn't change much, but there are still plenty of ways to clean up the graphics and make everything look and move better, which I would obviously welcome. However, these changes or additions don't really change anything when it comes to the game. Now, fiddling around with gameplay systems and the like is where I'd say things get into the realm of a remake rather than a remaster, and the game is definitely playable even with no gameplay changes or improvement over the GameCube version. However, there are a couple quality of life additions that would be amazing to include in a remaster. The first being a turbo mode to make travel and battles quicker along with a button that could skip long attack animations, mainly for ship battles since those attacks could drag on. If we want inspiration for what this would look like, Trails of Cold Steel, and the Trails series in general since it was brought over, has had turbo modes and skipping attacks that have helped make playthroughs much smoother. The second addition I'd really like to have would be expanded save slots. The GameCube version only had 7 save slots, which is so few for a game this long. Plus, adding in saving when out in the ship exploring would make Skies of Arcadia a much stronger pick-up-and-play game, which I think would be good for it. None of these changes would alter the gameplay or story, but it would improve the user experience to bring it more in line with standard games practices today. The last thing that I would like to see that would alter gameplay more would be a set of options like Persona 4 Golden had on PC to adjust encounter rates, experience points gained, or money gained up or down depending on preference. Not sure if they could implement that with the game code, but I would welcome that addition as I did when they put it in Persona 4 Golden. Now, all of these are also changes I would hope to see in a potential remake. But on top of that, I would of course expect far better graphics and perhaps redesigns for certain characters and locations. I'm not saying it has to reach Final Fantasy VII Remake style, but I think they could really go hard for the graphics while making sure they don't fall into the overly realistic trap. A good amount of Skies of Arcadia's charm comes from its art style, which I believe should look more towards Nino Kuni than Final Fantasy if it is remade to retain that artistic identity. I think expanding the cities in particular would help give the game a greater sense of scale, and perhaps some more tasks to complete in each of the cities. That might be it for expansion, because I think general exploration is pretty good and combat is set as well. The only thing I would change for combat is giving magic experience based on what weapon colors did the damage in combat instead of which ones you end combat with. It got annoying when I would have to hamstring part of my party to get the magic experience I wanted from a combat encounter even if I had used that color to defeat previous enemies. 
That's a pretty minor thing though. The bigger change I might look for is altering ship-to-ship -ship combat somewhat so it's more strategic and not just waiting for your win now button to be available. I think the way to accomplish this is giving ships more stats and distinct advantages and disadvantages. Like with party members, some ships would be fast and good at dodging and others might have incredible defense or strong offense. The idea is there story-wise, they just need to follow through in the gameplay as well. That covers the gameplay changes I would make, so I'll now move on to story changes I'd like to see in a remake. Skies of Arcadia story-wise is in a good position in most areas, but there are two changes to make. Starting with Vigoro, and just everything regarding his actions. He is a villain, so having him be a disgusting creep is perfectly fine, but the tone of the scenes previously have been comedic, and that is simply uncomfortable to watch. Likewise, this goes for the Ixenes demons from the bounty, because what they're doing in-game is despicable, and I think if they keep it in the game, they simply need to make it less of a joke. As with the remaster, changes needed or even wanted for a remake are limited. Give me Skies of Arcadia with improved graphics, streamlined action, and some altered minor characters, and I'll give you the money. Finally, that leaves us with the sequel. And the sequel would of course contain all of the previously mentioned elements, including turbo mode, cutscene skipping, greater amount of saves, magic experience based on damage dealt, some ship-to-ship -ship combat alterations, etc. This section is also the one that will contain spoilers for the first game, so here is the time code to skip this section if you don't want to hear them. The big question though, is whether it would be a direct sequel or simply set in the same or a similar world. I think it is more likely a sequel to Skies of Arcadia would be set in a similar world or even the same one many years down the line. Think Xenoblade Chronicles style when it comes to sequels. And I do think this makes the most sense. I won't lie though, I would really love it if they bucked that idea and went with a direct sequel following Vice, Ica, and Fina in their new ship on a completely new adventure. While the original game has a satisfying full story, I want more from these characters and exploring how they move on from all they did in the first game. No more threat from the Valuan Empire, the Silverites are basically all destroyed now, and Vice has already gone beyond the horizon. My idea then is having the game focus on Fina as the new main character with Vice and Ica returning as side characters, and Fina begins her efforts to uncover and preserve the history of the Silverites and the ancient civilizations. Then, the conflict could be another group trying to destroy that history so it is lost to time, perhaps some people who don't want more past misdeeds uncovered. It is a personal conflict that could expand to include nations if properly told. Again, I don't think this is likely, and I'd be perfectly fine with a similar setting with a new cast, but that doesn't stop me hoping for a new adventure for our main three from the first game. If they choose to not continue with Vice and the others, I do hope that they explore some older protagonists, maybe in their 20s or even 30s. Ones that are more established in the world of piracy first that then get swept away in a new adventure. Plus, having a larger cast of sailors and characters could make for a good adventure too, and put some greater emphasis on the recruitment part of the game. I don't think that's necessarily all that likely, and I certainly don't want a huge cast, but maybe 8 to 10 party members instead of 3 permanent and 3 changing party members like for Skies of Arcadia. I'd discuss gameplay more for a sequel then, but honestly other than the ship to ship combat adjustments described before, I think the gameplay is well set. It is of course possible that Sega decides to remaster or remake Skies of Arcadia in preparation for releasing a second game. That of course would be the dream, but I'm unsure it would happen. Another possibility is them remastering Skies of Arcadia to test the waters and see if it does well. And if it does do well, then they can greenlight a sequel to capitalize on the renewed interest. Another dream scenario, but I don't think it's too unrealistic once someone shakes the decision makers to help them see sense when it comes to the game. As usual with the games where I'm very unsure about the game ever getting a remaster, remake, or sequel, there will be no release prediction for this video. I will say though, if Sega was ever waiting for a time to come out with new Skies of Arcadia content, it is now. JRPG nostalgia is at an all-time high, and that shows with the strong sales of Final Fantasy VII Remake or Persona 4 Golden on PC, and the newly announced remakes such as Dragon Quest III in the style of the nostalgia bait well-selling JRPG Octopath Traveler. The trend is in favor of games like Skies of Arcadia, so I just gotta keep hoping the winds blow hard enough to grant us fans our desires.
remaster, remake, or sequel. There are a lot of options there with changes that could be made for the original game or ways to expand it into a proper series. Do you have some ideas that you would love to pitch to Sega or just want to comment on my ideas? Let me know down in the comments while also hitting that like button on the way down. Plus, if you want to continue seeing more of my videos, consider subscribing, all it costs is a click, and I will appreciate you greatly for it. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and happy gaming!